Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you guys, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading okay all right i would like to send a special shout out to all my members guys thank you thank you for supporting the channel thank you for joining me and for all my subscribers guys both old and new thank you guys thank you for joining me all right so i do call on the holy spirit i call on the white light that guides us i call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us Let's see what's the energy surrounding you guys, okay? I do want you guys to think of a question, something that you're wanting the answer to. And at the end of the reading, I will be shaking the eight ball to get an answer for you guys, okay? All right, my loves, let's get into this. Show me spirit, show me what's the energy surrounding my Virgos right now, present moment. We have the Knight of Wands. That Knight of Wands came out yesterday as well. We have the Ten of Wands. It's still going on. It's still going on. A lot of you guys are still dealing with other people's BS. A lot of you guys are still dealing with other people's BS. A lot of you guys are still dealing with in and out energy, undependable energy, flighty energy. Still dealing with people's BS. You're still at crossroads right now, present moment. Temperance. You're growing impatient. You're definitely, definitely growing impatient. Not listening to your spirit guides. Not listening to your intuitions. Show me spirit. Four of pentacles. You're holding on to something that you no longer need to hold on to. And the sun. You're not happy about it. No, you're not happy about it at all. You're not happy about the position that you are placed in right now, present moment, strong Leo energy. That sun came out in the reverse. Show me spirit. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy with the hangman. So you're starting to see things differently. King of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. All right. King of Pentacles, what you guys do not see. What you guys do not see is that for some of you guys, there's an energy here of you may be in a posture right now, present moment. This is a this is a this is telling me that this is coming for some of you guys. This is like facing facing some type of financial difficulties or you're dealing with someone that is not going to contribute or is not contributing to the household. Some of you guys, you may experience some, some financial difficulties, but for some of you guys, this is telling me that you're dealing with someone who is not contributing to the household. There's a lack or a less than contribution to the actual household or the greater good of the community. This is kind of giving me the greater good of the community itself. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So while this could be your energy or somebody's energy, what you're not seeing is that someone's not going to do their part or someone's not doing their part or there is obstacles on the way that is going to affect your stability and your foundation. Okay, we're going to see what all that's about. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You see how that Knight of Wands is, it's... The Knight of Wands is running, running into the opposite direction. You see that? This is running into the opposite direction. This is passing through energy. This energy is passing through. Ten of Wands talks about taking on a lot of other people's baggages and burdens, situations. Like this is like someone coming into your life, dropping a load off on you and then leaving you with that load. 
For some of you guys, this is somebody dropping their responsibilities off on you and then leaving you with those responsibilities. They're setting those responsibilities at your foot, at your doorstep. Two of Swords, while you guys may be trying to set boundaries, while you guys, you want to, you're aggravated. There's an aggravating energy in a lot of you guys' energy here. This With this Two of Swords, this is telling me that a lot of you guys are aggravated with the situation but you're still at crossroads you're a little guarded your little standoff is you're a little aggravated with it you are i see you guys growing impatient strong sagittarius energy you're growing impatient because there's no equal give and take there's no balance here in whatever this is a lot of you guys this is with with someone a lot of you guys this could be with an aries leo sagittarius but it's all bullshit there's no balance here there's no reciprocity there's no equal give and take while you have you have been patient with someone there's a lot like you're not wanting to be patient anymore it's telling me like for a lot of you guys you could have been dealing with this is like dealing with a niece or a nephew this is like this i'm, I'm hearing like dealing with your your brother or your sister's child they come with a lot of baggage a lot of burdens I'm getting almost like an upbringing and this is you being the the uncle, the aunt, the the pare, the nanan. This is like you trying to help a lost cause I'm feeling for some of you guys. I feel like for some of you guys it's like you've tried to put up some boundaries. You this is like I'm tr trying to keep your sanity in this energy. You're growing impatient with someone here. For some of you guys, this is costing you financially. You're starting to feel it. You're feeling it right now, present moment. You're feeling this pinch. Four of Pentacles is telling me like you guys are needing to hold on to your money because what you're not seeing is that you're gonna you're about to experience for some of you guys a financial difficulty. So while you're spending your money, utilizing your resources like it's water, something that's continuously flowing, it is not. The sun is telling me you're not, you're not seeing something for what it really and truly is. That sun came out in the reverse strong Leo energy. This is saying that there's still, there's still a shadow. There's still a fog. There's still a veil here. You're still holding on to something that's not giving. That's not in alignment with your greater good. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. This talks about, now this cup, this cup is offering friendship. This cup is offering love. Do you need, what do you need? This cup, whomever this person is, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. I feel like this person is offering you some type of help, some type of assistance, because this person sees that you are in the sun is not shining for you right now, present moment. This is telling me that you're in a dark place. And if it's not in a dark place, this is someone here that wants someone loving, that's willing to help you heal, help you put, you know, this is like a neighbor for some of you guys. This is like a neighbor seeing like if you're like a foster parent or if you're like a, like I said, a family member that's trying to help another family member and there's a lot of weight on you, but this is like someone here coming in. I'm going to be a good friend. I'm going to be a good neighbor. I'm going to help you because I see for some of you guys, this is like your lights getting turned off because you're overspending. And for some of you guys, there's an energy here of like you yourself, you're giving your money to an institution. You're giving a lot of your resources to an institution or an institution is robbing you because this is kind of giving me an institution's energy with the hangman. You're seeing your situation. This is like you're being awakened to where you've put yourself, where, where you've placed yourself. You've placed yourself in a very difficult situation. A situation that's just not going to get you anywhere. For a lot of you guys, it is definitely, definitely going to get you into some type of financial hardship with the Hierophant. It's going to start to interfere with your relationships. For some of you guys, there's something about an institution that you're going to start to see. Because this has to do with your beliefs. 
This has to do with higher education. This is saying that for some of you guys, this is you not being able to pay for this higher education. For some of you guys, this is telling me like there's an institution like a church or something like that that is that you're giving a lot of your resources to, but it's not making you believe any more than you believed before. You're not learning any more than you've already learned. There's a, you're adding stress to yourself. For some of you guys, this is telling me that you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could definitely, definitely be married to this person. But this is telling me this person is not contributing to the household. There's a lack of contribution here. In whatever way, shape, or form this is, this is a lack of contribution. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Some of you guys, you could definitely, definitely be in something same sex. And whomever it is that you're dealing with, this person is non-committal. Whoever this person is, this person that lacks, this person has spiritual poverty. So whatever spiritual grounds you yourself have placed yourself on, you and this person, you're not aligning on a very spiritual level. Strong Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy, the Hierophants. This is saying that your beliefs are not aligning. So for a lot of you guys, if you're in something same sex, it's telling me your beliefs are not aligning. And this is also showing me that there's a block in communication. There's a block in communication and or there is a block in moving things along. As I see 11, 11 on the clock, there's a block in moving things along. For a lot of you guys, this definitely, definitely has to do with an institution. The emperor here, Aries energy. This definitely, definitely has to do with an institution itself or somebody here that they abuse their power. I'm really and truly getting something going towards a church, an institution, an establishment itself. Where it's like some of you guys, you're avoiding it. You're avoiding an institution. You're avoiding an establishment. Your beliefs don't align with it anymore. It's costing you. Your feelings are getting hurt by this. For some of you guys, this could be an institution. You could definitely be same sex and this, this could be an institution that has disappointed you. For some of you guys, there's an energy here of like someone here that you're wanting to be in a long-term relationship with. This person is blocking you. This person is away from you. This person is dodging you. And this person wants to do what this person wants to do with that emperor here. This is someone here that abuses their power. This is someone here that has, that people look up to, but they don't know the real person. Strong, strong energy. Yeah, strong energy. Show me this Knight of Wands for my Virgos. Six of Swords. You see, some of you guys at Six of Swords came out in the reverse. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Somebody emotionally detached. See, that Knight of Wands, this is someone here that stopped. This is somebody that stops through. This is just somebody that stops through. I tell you a lot of times that energy talks about a thief in the night. Now, whether this could be you or somebody in your energy, but that knight of wands is not there to stay. That energy is flighty. That energy is I'm passing through. This is a passing through energy. It's not a consistent energy. Six of swords talks about moving on to calmer waters, but this is actually saying this is coming right on back. This is saying, because the six of swords, when the six of swords comes about, this is normally someone here like, you go from the five of swords where there's conflict and there's drama and there's wanting to win at all costs to the six of swords throwing your hands up in the air and saying, I give up. I'm moving on to something, something better. Then you go to that seven of swords. You take your swords because this is this is the thing with the six of swords. You're taking these swords with you. So all the bullshit, all the conflict, all the drama, you're taking that with you that you haven't withdrawn from that. You haven't let it all go. It's traveling with you. So this is like saying whether this be you or somebody in your energy, like someone's traveling with the same bullshit while wanting, while considering, while thinking that you're moving on to something better or like you're, or you're, or because you're walking away from something, it's going that you're changed. This is like somebody thinking, oh, if I leave this behind, if I walk away from this, if I go in the opposite direction, it's all good now. There's a clean slate now. That's not what this is saying. This is saying that the, this, the same ways, the same actions, the same flighty personality, the same flighty action oriented individual is still with the same bullshit because they're taking the bullshit with them. But they're say, this is saying that the bullshit is coming right on back with the actual individual. And again, that's why I got in this energy for some of you guys, somebody coming back with that same old bullshit 
and dropping that load on you and they're going by their business king of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy somebody emotionally unavailable someone where their emotions gets the best of them someone who, where their emotions runs the world you know how they say girls run the world now -uh. this person's negative patterns run the world this person's codependency runs their world and they're coming through to lighten their load on you they're about to drop a very heavy load on you and for some of you guys this is a heavy this is a this is a sibling a younger brother younger sister a niece or a nephew even this could be an adult child for some of you guys and this could be a lover for some of you guys yes but i'm getting more of a family dynamic i need to stay for a little bit i need somewhere to lay my head i need somewhere to sleep but they're dropping their load on you they're coming in to drop a load on you show me this ten of wands the justice in the reverse libra energy there's an injustice here there's an injustice done unto you everything is fine no it's not ten of swords you go from the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Justice here. This is you trying. This is you. I'm going to deal with this. 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 This is you making excuses. This is you like, I'm going to give it time. I'm going to see how it's going to turn out. This is you taking one sword after the other sword, after the other sword, after the other sword. But you're getting tired of this because you're seeing how you're starting to see. You're starting to see that this is bullshit. You're starting to see that the, there's an imbalance here. You're starting to see that someone here, their choices, they're making bad choices. And this is like, I can't continue playing in this person, playing in this person's garbage, this person's trash. I can't continue dealing with the BS. For some of you guys, there's this is someone here dropping like this is like someone getting custody of their children, but then they drop their children off to you. For some of you guys, this is like the government uh, screaming that they're going to take someone's child. This could be your child, your child's child. This could be a niece or a nephew, your brother or your sister's child. This is telling me like, this is like the system, a system wanting to take them and you finding it to be an imbalance, but you're willing to take on this baggage and this burden, which is not your problem. And this is still telling me that you're going to get screwed, but you're going to still try and tell yourself that everything's fine. Everything's going to be fine. Strong, strong energy strong energy show me this justice card spirit show me this justice card queen of wands aries leo sagittarius energy there's an energy here of you being intimidating you're intimidated ten of pentacles for some of you guys this is your marriage there you're dealing with a lot of bullshit in your marriage and you're still holding down, you're still holding it all down. You still like you're not wearing you yourself, you're not wearing what you're going through, where you've been, and what you've been going through. Ten of Pentacles, this is like not wanting this anymore. You know, I fought for this. I took all I could take. I've dealt with all I can deal with. But I'm too good for this. Some of you guys, this is you filing for divorce wanting a separation because this is like you calling bullshit finally finally we're going to what what movie was that gosh with ryan mcconnellan and somebody else what's that girl name oh and i love her to death and it's not too can play that game what was it she wore that yellow dress and she was a newspaper um she wrote for a magazine and it was this jewel like how to lose a guy in 10 days that's the name of the movie that's the energy that's coming through finally you're calling bullshit on this you know how when they scream in the movie bullshit excuse my language early this morning but that's what i'm getting in this energy you're finally calling bullshit on this on this marriage on this commitment for some of you guys this is an institution for some of you guys this is an institution this could be like the court system this could be some type of legal matter this could be a law firm finally you, this could be like a tax place like finally you're calling bullshit on this this could be a tax department. You're finally calling bullshit on this. 
this is like you saying, I, I fire you as my counsel. I'm going to represent myself because I'm getting screwed. You're screwing me. This is you walking away from a marriage because you're continuously getting screwed. You yourself, you're tired of being played. You've done all that you can do. Ten of wands. Like you're starting to see, I've done all that I can do in this marriage, in this relationship, within this institution. You've done all that you can do and you're starting to see this now. For some of you guys, this is like you taking care of a family member, a mother, a father, a grandparent. You're taking care of them and you're thinking, okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to get this inheritance. I've earned this. But this is telling me like you're giving this up because you, you don't want to continue dealing with these people is what I'm getting in this energy. Or for some of you guys, this is you getting screwed even after because that injustice is here. This is you getting screwed even after you've put in all of that hard work, stress. This is still telling me that whatever inheritance you're thinking that you're going to be getting, you're not going to be getting Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. Yeah, this is telling me you're not getting that inheritance. This is telling me that for somebody here, you're walking away from a marriage and you're leaving it all behind because it's an energy here of it's not worth it. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your energy. Not anymore. You're finally seeing you're this Queen of Wands energy. You're finally seeing. And I feel like it's your heart, yes, that gets you into this mess, but also it's your it's it's this energy. Whereas you yourself, I feel like you are forced to be reckoned with, and some of you guys, you're just being reminded that you are that force to be reckoned with. You are a force to be reckoned with, but you're just being reminded of it. But this has been this is after you have let a lot be thrown to your foot, let a lot be thrown at you. This is like somebody throwing tomatoes and eggs at your face and you wiping it off and telling them to keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it and then finally you're like what the hell like this is like that rotten tomatoes like mm -mm. and finally you're like oh no oh no finally show me this two of swords for my virgo spirit the moon there's things that are hidden cancer energy there's things beneath the surface here the hermit here you go withdrawing your energy here are you going withdrawing your energy. Here are you going becoming like locking your doors, closing your windows, shutting your blinds. Here you go withdrawing because now you're mad at yourself, Virgo energy. You're mad at yourself. You know, now this is like, okay, with this two of swords, now you're mad, you're aggravated now. You're mad and you're aggravated because you yourself, you, you, you didn't, you weren't expressing how you truly felt within a situation. You yourself, you're finding out secrets. Secrets are coming to the surface. And now you're aggravated. Now you're mad. Now you want to withdraw your energy. Now you want to close yourself from the world for swords. You do need to rest. You do need to rest. You do need to work on your healing. You need it. This is telling me that you need it because for the longest you weren't listening to your intuitions, for the longest you weren't listening to your spirit guides, for the longest you were taking on other people's problems, under other people's trash, other people's responsibilities, and you were a punching bag. Whether it's metaphorical or actually physically, you were you were somebody's punching bag for the very for for the longest. For someone here, this is telling me like you're having to withdraw for your sanity and for your health. For somebody here, you could really and truly be bedridden. So you're having to heal. You're needing to heal. You're needing to get your rest. Somebody here could have really and truly just had an anxiety attack. Somebody could really and truly have been caused to have some type of anxiety attack based on this. Based on this, trying to hold it all together, trying to hold it all in, driving yourself bonkers. Truly, truly driving yourself bonkers. Show me the temperance. Show me temperance for my Virgos. The magician, Gemini, Virgo energy with the king of wands here. For some of you guys, look at that. With death, 
while this cycle is not over and done with, you're still, you still didn't give up though. Like some of you guys are going to end up in the crazy house dealing with some people. Give me a sec. Yeah. Some of you guys, you're going to wind up ending. You're going to put yourself in the crazy house dealing with certain people. You know, you're growing impatient, but you're, but you're strong willed. You're growing impatient, but you're strong-willed. You're dealing with somebody here, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Somebody here that likes to get a lot of attention from a lot of different people. This is someone here that don't matter what you're going through. They're worrying about themselves. For some of you guys, this is a spouse. This is giving me Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Gemini, Virgo, Energy, Sagittarius, Energy. You're dealing with someone here that likes to get a lot, a lot of attention. For some of you guys, right now, present moment, this is I feel I feel like you're kicking and screaming to get someone's attention. You're kicking and screaming to get someone's attention. Someone that's not on your level. Someone that's not on your level, someone that's not in your class. You're this is kicking and screaming here to get someone's attention. Cuz you don't want something to end, Scorpio energy. Six of Wands, but you're not going to get anywhere with this. Two of Wands, and then again here, this everything is fine. See, this is talks. This talks about not getting the recognition, not being seen the way that you want to see. Two of Wands, this is reverting. This is somebody from your past. For some of you guys, this is somebody from your past that's coming in or that you're going towards. That's not going to be successful, not going to be yeah not gonna be this is like somebody's growing impatient but this is also for some of you guys this person this person has is is not faithful and this person could be trying to manifest you back into their life because this person has been experiencing some karma could be a Scorpio for some of you guys. This person is messing around with a lot of different people. They're trying to manifest you back into their life, but this person is experiencing some karma. They're experiencing some karma for what they did to you. This person doesn't want. Yeah, but they're not. They're still not come. They're coming. They're 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 wanting to come back. But now I see with this, everything is fine. We can actually say, okay, the energy is shifting in the sense like this person, you, 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 there's no more swords this person can put in your back. Like there's nothing else. There's not, there's no more, there's no, oh no I want to say no, no more fucked up things this person can do to you. There's no more. They've already stabbed you as many times as they can stab you. There's no more places a knife can go in and everything is fine because you're done with this person so this person could not want this strong scorpio energy this person could not but this person's not getting anywhere they're not getting your attention for some of you guys like this is like you you're not giving this person any of your attention you're not giving this person any of your attention so this is like you letting this person reap their own karma they're reaping their own karma their own destruction they, they're causing their own destruction. They've caused their own destruction. The tower here. And with this ace of wands. So unexpectedly for a lot of you guys. There's some one new here. That's coming into your life. Unexpectedly. For some of you guys with the emperor here. This talks about a new, a new institution. It talks about like a new job offer. But for some of you guys, whatever this is, this is within wherever you're at right now, present moment. So you getting a different position in the job that you're in. So like you're not happy. This is an energy of you not being happy. Like this is like if you're if you if you go to church and you greet your greeter, you're aggravated in what position you're in, or you're a part of the congregation or however this goes, and you're aggravated in whatever position you're in because you feel like you, you belong in a different position. You want to be doing something different, and you're watching what other people are doing, and it's not in alignment with something greater. But this is like you getting it. Unexpectedly, you're going to be getting it. But this is after being screwed, though. And for some of you guys, this is like your job. Like, unexpectedly, yeah, you're going to get what you're going to get a new position you're going to get a raise you're going to get a promotion but this is only after for some of you guys this is like only after you threatening to leave 
like that's kind of what i'm getting here in this energy like this is only after you like kind of threatening to leave itself that's a strong strong energy yeah show me this four of pentacles that four of pentacles is telling me you guys you're holding on to something that you need to let go of and not only that for some of you guys this is telling me that you are you're utilizing your resources and your money like it's water show me this four of pentacles Ooh, the tower scorpio energy mm. this is telling me that if you don't want like to save your home if you're trying to save your home if like this is this talks about your foundation you're not trying to shake up your foundation you're not trying to shake up your home you're not trying to lose your home this talks about your foundation you're not trying to lose whatever this is but this is telling me you need to save nine of cups you're, you're trying to you're holding on for some of you guys you're holding on to a foundation that wasn't built up on something solid to begin with you're not happy with this to begin with ace of swords this is what are you telling yourself what is someone telling you like what are you being sold on for some of you guys this could be definitely a marriage like this could be like a home that's going into foreclosure for some of you guys this is like you having you're being you're near having to file bankruptcy here for some of you guys this is you trying to hold on to a marriage um and i'm getting like for some of you guys you could have four kids two adult kids two little kids and this foundation this marriage is falling apart here you're still trying to hold on to it but you're not happy you're not happy in it to either way you're holding on to something and you're not happy with it either way for some of you for someone here your kids themselves are telling you you need to let this go you're holding on it's like why are you holding on to this mom dad for someone here you're holding on to a home here a structure this is a structure you're holding on to and you financially can't afford to hold on to it you financially can't hold you you financially and the thing about it is it's causing you discontentment ace of swords what are you telling yourself what are you truly seeing are you seeing the truth are you speaking the truth what are you being honest with yourself because this is showing me that someone's not being honest nine of cups and it's still showing me a lack of happy with that son a lack of happiness a true 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 lack of happiness yeah show me the sun spirit show me the sun for my virgo five of pentacles so right now present moment for a lot of you guys you're wanting to come out of the cold you're needing some help six of pentacles this is you hoping and praying so some of you guys what you need to do some of you guys, what you need to do is ask for help. Some of you guys, you may have asked for help or you may have received a promotion or a, because the five of pentacles is coming out of the cold. Coming out of the cold, that sun came out in the reverse, strong Leo energy here. It talks about not being happy, not seeing something for what, like, like really and truly not seeing something. Like there is smoke, there's a veil. Like this is telling me like the sun not shining. But with the five of pentacles this is telling me okay now they're starting to be there some there's some type of change here for some of you guys you may have seeked out or asked for some type of assistance some type of help um this has to do with your your finances like this is like making a loan getting a loan um for some of you guys this is like you're in recovery mode this is for some of you guys this is you you have a long road towards healing within your health like you have a long road of healing within your financial situation you have a long road of healing within a relationship within a connection for some of you guys what i'm seeing here is that you yourself you're not seeing the light right now present moment at the end of the tunnel but you are in recovery mode but the six of pentacles talks about not having enough like for somebody here this is like asking the church to help you for some of you guys this is like needing hoping and praying for some type of assistance some type of gift some type of gesture here king of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy the hierophants and that king of pentacles again yeah someone here this is like 
Somebody here could definitely, definitely be do dealing with something same sex and you're not getting anywhere in this situation. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy, the Hierophant, Taurus, energy, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy, not getting financial help, financial stability, not getting commitment. Your beliefs are being challenged, dealing with a lot of emotions right now. Six of Pentacles, this is like you needed whatever assistance you were asking for. You need help. You need a helping hand. Like times have been tough. And this is saying that you're not you're still not getting what it is that you're needing. And for some of you guys, this is from an institution or this is from an actual person. For some of you guys, this is this is an institution or an actual person here. And while you're needing the help, you're needing the assistance because they know that you need it. They know that you're in recovery. They know that you're ha you've experienced some health issues. You've experienced some financial loss. You've experienced a divorce. You've experienced a separation. You've experienced a loss. For some of you guys, it's losing your home. Like, and try you've tried everything that you could do, but you just couldn't couldn't keep afloat. Yeah, that's a very, very strong energy. Some of you guys, this is like you being sick to your stomach. You're locked in, closed in, blinds closed, shutters closed. I feel like your spirit guides are telling you you need to pull yourself. Somebody needs to pull. Somebody needs to get the rest they, the rest that they need, and then pull themselves together. Because somebody is recovering from some type of financial hardship, or somebody is recovering from some type of health issue itself that actually caused financial hardship. Someone here, your spirit guides are saying that you may you may have contributed to an institution, and what is this institution contributing to you? At least there's something this institution could contribute to you. Strong energy. Show me this Queen of Cups, spirit. Show me this Queen of Cups. Page of Pentacles. I saw that. This talks about a new offer, but it's not coming. Knight of Pentacles. I'm telling you. Like somebody's definitely, definitely feeling the burn when it comes to their finances. Somebody's definitely, definitely feeling the burn when it comes to their finances. For someone here, you thought that you were going to receive some type of helping hand and it's not coming through. You thought you were getting this new job and it's not coming through. A friend of yours. This is through your friend, through your mother. You thought you were going to be getting this new job, this new opportunity, but it's fall, it, it has fallen through. It has fell through. And you've been, you've waited, you've waited. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy again. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy again. Financial difficulties. Financial strains. Like this window of opportunity is falling through for some of you guys. Show me that hang one. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. You see now that... You can't trust. And again, this five of cups, there's some regret and some disappointment. Some of you guys are overindulging. You're stressed out and you're drinking. You're stressed out. You're crying and you're drinking over this. The hang one, it's like you, you, you sought hope. You thought that this help was coming in. Knight of Swords talks about no action. Talks about lack of action. Talks about distrust, the communication that's coming in is not what you want to hear. This is like, yeah, this is like receiving some bad news. Five of cups, you're disappointed. There's regret. There's a lot of regret. This is like you put yourself in a tough situation for a lot of you guys. But there's two cups here, three of wands. What spirit is saying is what you're telling yourself. What are you telling yourself? You're not stuck in this posture. You're not stuck in this situation. A lot of you guys, like, you are still thinking with outdated, like, in, in an outdated manner. Like, outdated, out of style manner. Thinking like the times are still the same. You see with that six of cups here? This is like thinking that the times are still the same. Like things are still the same. This is not thinking about, this is this is about forward movement. Eight of swords, you're not really and truly stuck. 
you're not really and truly stuck you need to take the blinders off you need to release yourself king of swords what are you telling yourself for some of you guys this is about you not playing fair for some of you guys what i'm getting in this energy is more so your spirit guides are telling you that you need to start thinking thinking like how, what did i see the other day oh my gosh what was the name of this movie and it was so funny oh thinking like a winner it was the other woman i was watching it the other night the other woman and i feel like this is like for some of you guys there's still two cups here if you've ever watched the other woman you'll know if you haven't you need to watch it it's so phenomenal five of cups like you're this is like you playing the victim here but you're not the victim you need to you need to be a winner you need to be a winner. Three of three of wands. This talks about waiting for your ships to come in. Like this is like waiting for someone else to fix your problems. This is like you wallowing, wallowing in self pity. But King of Swords here in the reverse Libra Gemini Aquarius energy. This is spirit saying that you need to play like a winner. For, this is like you need to play like the person. Like you see how that the, the the husband tried to screw the wife over, in that other movie. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it so you can understand. The husband actually tried to screw the wife over. He actually had the wife signing documents the whole time, lying to her the whole time. He had so many different, different, different women, and he was having her sign. So if anything was to go wrong, she would take the fall. She would take the blame. And for someone here, I'm actually getting that kind of energy here because with the Eight of Swords, this is like releasing someone from the, the notion of being locked in something, even in a prison, even in a mental institution. King of Swords played like that person. You see, you're trying to be innocent. You're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to, you're trying to be a Virgo. But this is you thinking. This is you thinking like a criminal for some of you guys thinking this is the, the way your way out of this situation i'm not telling you to do any type of criminal act now i'm not telling you to do that but you need to think like a winner and whatever this situation is however you're dealing with this situation your spirit guides are saying you need to think like a winner strong energy strong energy show me what i need to see spirit show me what i need to see for my virgo pathway so there is a, a path that's being illuminated for you there is a way out of what this posture the house again a way out of this this situation it has to do with your foundation your house your marriage your spirit guides are saying there is a way out follow the light follow the light there is a way out of this what's the way out spirit what's the way out thief wow wow you know what i'm getting like putting your ducks in a row setting aside certain things i'm not telling you not telling you like for somebody here you need to bring an end to somebody taking from you for somebody here you're dealing with a thief you're dealing with someone here when i say a thief this is somebody here that's stealing your time somebody here that's stealing your energy Somebody here that's stealing your money. Like, I feel like for some of you guys, somebody in your energy, like, they don't mean you well. This could be a person or this could be an institution that's stealing from you. This could be a person or an institution itself that's stealing from you. And you're needing to follow the light, follow the path away from it. For some of you guys with judification, this could definitely be the court system itself this could definitely be you being screwed in court this could definitely be you being screwed in some type of a state and i feel like your spirit guides are telling you to think like the person that's trying to screw you really and truly and in whatever manner this is this is like your spirit guides telling you to think the way that this person would think the way that this institution would think and operate and that's how you're going to win that's how you're going to win and then we have pansy sweet thoughts look at that that's a nice flower pansy it talks about sweet thoughts pray you love remember and there are pansies that's for thoughts and the thing about it is from what i remember look up pansies 
because this is also also kind of I'm also hearing like a pansy scheme for some of you guys you need to be careful of somebody scheming stealing from you stealing your money and for some of you guys this is an institution for some of you guys this is going to be through some type of transaction for some of you guys this is going to be through some type of inheritance some type of divorce like somebody stealing from you and like this is like you being a pansy are you being a part of a pansy scheme i feel like spirit threw this card out with a purpose and your spirit guides are saying pray you love and remember because i feel like you're going to be aggravated and you're going to be pissed at some point in time because someone is screwing you or trying to screw you and your spirit guides are also saying for you to think the way that this person or this institution would think and that's your way out of this situation strong strong energy strong 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 energy all right my loves i want you guys to think of your question go ahead and think of your question and we're going to see what the eight ball has for you guys okay go ahead and think of your question show me spirit show me what i need to see for my virgo viewers let's see what's your question guys and let's see your answer let's see what it's showing us it says reply hazy try again huh it says reply is hazy for you to try again you see that all right let's see show me spirit show me what i need to see for my viewers show me what i need to see okay again it's saying cannot predict now wow see that cannot predict now that's <laughs> i've never gotten those two before i've never gotten those two before so whatever question you guys asked there's a lesson that you have to learn before you actually find out there's a there's a lesson in it before you actually get an answer to it there's you have to learn a lesson wow that's some that's 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 different i never got those two from the eight ball before <laughs> all right my loves that is what i have for you guys of course if any of this resonates please hit that like button subscribe if you haven't until next time. Bye guys.